This video is going to be about screwdrivers and mostly it's just going to be about the differences and what you can expect from different brands, right? Because they're all basically screwdrivers and none of these are hollow ground, right? They're not machinist screwdrivers. All of these are what you would find in an automotive application. And so I'm going to start out. These have all been replaced. Um, I originally had the old 80s and 70s black handled um, snap-on screwdrivers that I'd bought over the years one at a time. And the handles started to weep the petroleum back out, turned to chalk, so snap-on was kind enough to warranty them all out with new ones. They uh, leaked all in my toolbox drawer. I'm like, what's going on? And the handles actually turned to chalk to the point that they just crumbled and fell apart in my hands. Um, so this is uh, the replacements that I've had for a little while now, but I haven't used much like I did the old ones. The old ones I put some wear on. And they're bolstered. Um, they don't have a striking cap, which in the, the uh, shank does not go all the way through the handle. It goes to about right here and it, it can be pressed in. So that's why snap on when you warranty one now, they'll just put a new shank in the old handle and they can do it a couple of times before the handle wears out. Now these are um, not the comfort grip, but they're the long screwdrivers um, that you would use for carburetor adjustments or getting into some some weird wacky situation where you would run out of shank. And uh, then I have the Hazet, which are German made. And I like them, but they're actually, they're a German company, but these I believe are made in Slavonia or Slovakia. Maybe it says I have since forgotten for uh, Hazette, I, I think these are made in Slavonia. Um, and then these are interesting. These are the Vita, also made in Germany. And they do make one with a striking cap that is fully bolstered. It is much cheaper than the Snap-on. And you'll notice they have the same tri-lobe handles as you would see on a Snap-on. And that is because they, they were the first ones to do that. And Snap-on later, uh, Matco was selling, um, Matco was selling rebranded Vita screwdrivers and everybody loved them. They were all buying these because the handle just is amazing in your hand. So they became the number one selling screwdriver for a while. And so Snap-on later came out with it. And the, the thing that I have, like the bigger snap-on screwdrivers, I do think they handle, unless you can palm a basketball, the bigger ones, if I were a lady and had a lady size hands, I'd probably be in trouble with this one. It's, it just, it starts to feel like it's the size of a toilet paper roller in your hand. Um, and, and I can't palm a basketball. So just saying, right? Um, and then what's really funny is then later on, so it started with Vita on the Matco truck. After Snap-on did it, everybody started coming out with the tri-lobe design. This is a, a power built. Um, and this is like probably late 80s, early 90s, the power built. That became the standard, that tri-lobe handle. And it's still, in my opinion, the top handle. So I like the Vita. The steel quality is really good. Um, they are an amazing value. In quality and then the next would be the the Philo which I like also and their handles are just a little smaller right they 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 seem to be just about the right size they don't have that tri-lobe design but you can still get a really good purchase on them right so they're not they're not a bad screwdriver and they're really they're made in Germany um, let's see there you go and I'm not going to say they're a budget screwdriver, but they're a great value for what you get. In fact, these little ones, which are their cheapest, right, of their insulated line, there was a YouTube video guy who took all the insulated screwdrivers and started applying insane amounts of voltage, and the handle leaked the least on these. And the funniest thing was, out of all of them, they had the smallest handles, and they really surprised him because they were like the... The least expensive the ones tested 
and they actually took an amazing amount of power like you would die if you even got near that amount before it started to leak through the handle so you know great job Philo and you know they're probably priced right there with Vita they're they're well they're a good screwdriver for the money and they do make a a bolstered screwdriver but I don't think I've ever seen one with a striking cap so I would say that Vita has a little bit over on Philo for having a striking cap and then this screwdriver I think is absolutely the top of the line the best um, I mean just look at the quality the machine work and the bolstering um, this particular one is a 14 millimeter blade flat blade large striking cap uh, fully bolstered hex uh, shaft the metallurgy is just you know second to none even the bigger screwdrivers still manage to fit your hand well um, you know you don't feel like you're you've got a toilet paper roller in your hand and you know the, the striking cap there may come a time you you need to use that and these are called chisel drivers by the way on their website amazing I, I think these are the best screwdrivers made today I really do and then these are an interesting design as far as I know they're the only one who does this let's see if I can get a close-up of this screwdriver tip it's hard to get so those Chinesium alloy screws that you get a lot of times in electrical and in little um, hobbyist kits or putting stuff together that is both a Phillips and a screw head um, see no I just can't seem to focus in on this enough what this does is it it uh, actually there we go that's probably as good as that's gonna get you can almost see here there we go now you can see it so it rides on the flat as well as the Phillips so it gives you maximum purchase on those screws and as far as I know, Vera is the only one to do that, and I have that both in the number one and number two. You know, these are their square drives. Why one's black, I couldn't tell you because, you know, a lot of these I bought as single screwdrivers over time. And I have every size. They're just different brands, different sets. Not all my stuff is in, you know, nice, uh, you know, matching sets because a lot of it I bought here and there over the years, one or two at a time. And uh, here's another company, Mac Tools. You know, we all know who they are. Another tool truck brand. I have nothing bad to say about their screwdrivers. They're real similar to the older Snap-ons. You know, they don't have a stri striking cap either. The handles only go partially. The shank only goes partially into the handles. But the metallurgy is good, just like every one that I've shown you so far. Um, and, and I've used these over the years. So they've, they've, they've held up. Uh, another good screwdriver that if you're on a real budget is the Carlisle Ram and the Carlisles, you know um, they're, they're a tough little screwdriver they don't have a striking cap they're made in Taiwan but they're made really good quality and they use really good quality tool steel I haven't had one fail and then if you work on anything Japanese these are all JIS screwdrivers and these are really interesting I love the vessel. They've got a nice bold striking cap. They're bolstered. And the shank does run all the way to the striking cap. Um, they're really good quality steel. They make a, a really unique ball ratcheting screwdriver. So for working on Japanese bice bicycles, motorcycles, this one's unique because it's actually an impact screwdriver. You hit this with a hammer and the shank rotates to loosen screws automatically. Um, so I had to have at least one of those. I mean, come on, that's just cool. And over here, this was a, a reasonably priced screwdriver and it has a 2000 volt rating on it. And anymore, you won't find a, a bit driver for electrical. Um, this has a really powerful magnet. So I really wouldn't worry about the bits falling out but that's always been the argument is electricians don't want a loose bit coming out. But I keep that around because you can reduce the number of, of screwdrivers with this in your bag by having this with a few bits in the back. Um, another electrical screwdriver that 
reduces the number of screwdrivers in your bag. This is a King Dick screwdriver out of England, and it's really got a, a special and unique tip on it. Let's see if I can get where I can get that in focus here. The tip is really unique, and it's unique in the fact that, we can zoom in here, it will work for a Phillips 1, 2, and 3, and a Posi Drive 1, 2, and 3. I have never tried this on a JIS, a Japanese Industrial Standard Screw, but I have a feeling it would probably get you through in a pinch. So that thing replaces six screwdrivers in an electrician's bag. These two screwdrivers will get you a long ways. Uh, here's another good one. It's a uh, Vera, a Viha. Um, and Viha makes really decent stuff. I like their stuff. Um, I would definitely go with a set of Vihas. They're an excellent screwdriver. This one's here just because it's a Phillips head with a built-in tester. So you get near electrical and if you get close to something with power, the handle will light up and let you know that it's a live circuit. I do like that. Another uh, another one of the Weha Viha Torxes. So out of all these, you know, different screwdrivers are good for different things, right? And what might feel good in one person's hand might not fit in another person's hand. Um, like I said, I have sometimes things duplicated here and some stuff not so much, but I pretty much have every size, you know, in my box that I would ever need. Um, this Milwaukee screwdriver I love. It's a big demolition screwdriver. And, uh, you know, I don't know what they made the striking cap out of, but it really hasn't marred much. And believe me, it's been hit with a hammer. Um, you know, the, the tip is in still reasonably good shape. It's got a little wear on it. In case you haven't noticed, I'm, I'm a freak about wiping my tools down. Um, this Milwaukee I've used quite a bit, and the only thing that I don't like about it is it did develop a lot of wear. I mean, it, it's really gotten loose. And one day I want to replace that with a PB Swiss. Uh, PB Swiss, I think, makes the best ratcheting screwdriver on the planet, but it, it is super expensive. And one day... I'll go ahead and cough up the $135, $140 in shipping to get one. Um, so there you have it. I mean, here's another ratcheting screw screwdriver. This thing's kind of a beast. It's super heavy by Philo, um, but it's a great screwdriver. And it, unlike the other ones, this one can be made to adjust for different angles and it, it's locking, but it is kind of bulky. So depending on you know what you're using it for, um, it works great, but it probably wouldn't be for every application. And I sure wouldn't want to have to carry it in a tool bag all day long. So that's it. There's my screwdriver tour. I'd like to make a little shout out to my buddy and uh, wish him well. On He's getting ready to purchase some new tools. And I wanted to kind of show him the different brands and, and the differences in screwdrivers and what you can expect from different brands. So I'm going to say good luck. Uh, and I, I hope your purchase is exactly what you need. Um, and that's about it. Thank you guys for tuning in.